Okay, hi. This is a video I'm making for Mava and Branson and Hank and Oakley because your mama showed me that you guys were interested in some uh, duckling family that you found and this is my favorite book about a little duckling family. It's a great bedtime story especially. Um, sorry the sun's in my eyes even though it's a really cloudy afternoon. So we're just gonna see how this works. I'm not used to doing this but this is for you guys because I love you and I love this book. You see, I hope you guys can see how beautiful these pictures are. So this is a beautiful grassy um, hill with a sunset and a bird. In the golden glow of a summer evening, Mother Mallard leads her ducklings away from the nest in the tall meadow grass. You see all the ducklings tucked away in the grass? To the lake. The ducklings follow in a row around the shoreline weeds through a driftwood maze. To a sandbar where they will spend their first night near the water. See the ducklings, they swam into the water and to a little island. The sandbar is like a little island that just sticks up in the creek or in the lake. You see that? Mother Mallard tries to sleep, but her ducklings are not sleepy. Can you see what all those ducklings are doing? Uh, let me straighten that up. There we go. Look at those ducklings. Yeah, they're very curious, right? First night near the water. They listen to the frogs. And spy on a heron catching a fish. See that heron? It's a big beautiful bird. We see herons a lot when we go for little walks and hikes in our area here in Northwest Arkansas. Do you guys ever see them? If you don't, you can come here and see them. Can you guys see Mother Mallard there tucked away trying to sleep? The ducklings watch the dark shapes of bats flying in the twilight. At nightfall, the ducklings see lights twinkling over the water. What do you think those lights are? Can you guys see all the different kinds of lights they see? Some of them are city lights on the other side of the lake, but some of them are fireflies. Have you guys ever seen fireflies? We have fireflies in our forest in June. The next year you guys will be here and you'll be able to see them. A hungry pike cruises by. Mother Mallard calls softly for her ducklings to huddle near. A pike is a big fish. Can you guys spot that pike? Can you see Mother Mallard calling to her babies? There's the pike. Hmm. Pretty big fish compared to those little ducklings, huh? She covers them with her wings and presses them against her sides. Can you see her gather them in? Do they look cozy in there? I think they look so cozy. Through the darkest hours of the night, Mother Mallard keeps her ducklings hidden, safe and warm. Can you see those ducklings? They're tucked right in there, aren't they? Yeah, look at that snake. Can you guys see the snake? Oh. But that snake can't find those ducklings because that mother has got them covered, huh? Do you guys think you know how those ducklings feel? Safe and warm with their mom? Oh, look at that beautiful picture. 
As the sun slowly rises, a sudden breeze ripples the lake. Doesn't it look like that lake is moving to you? It's rippling gently in the morning light. When the world is light again, Mother Mallard flaps her wings and quacks out loud. Wake up! It's time to take a morning swim. You see her flapping her wings? Those sleepy little ducklings waking up. A new day has begun and off they go. Okay, that was All Night Near the Water by Jim Arnosky, one of my favorite bedtime books. And I hope that you guys liked it because you're um, watching that duckling family. And I love you guys and wish that you could come to Arkansas soon, but I will hopefully see you in Utah this summer. Love you guys. Bye.